Welcome traders. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the only strategy that you need to be profitable in these markets. If you are not profitable, if you are a break even trader or are losing money, stop everything that you're doing right now and watch this video a hundred times because in this video, I will be revealing the easiest ICT strategy that you can use to get funded. ICT himself said that you can use this exact strategy to quit your job in 90 days. So if you're having poor results with your other trading strategies, this is all that you need. Stop doing random things on the charts. Pick and choose and stick with a, a mechanical system. I'm going to give you mechanical rules that you can follow that happen every single day. I take this trade every single day and I made over $3,000 on this trade today. And I'm revealing all of the secrets in this video right now. Okay, let's, let's get started. So this strategy is called the Judas Swing. I trade this strategy during the New York session. So the very first rule, start taking notes. The very first rule is that you want to mark the high and low between midnight to 8.30. So currently, I'm on a one-minute chart. This vertical line right here is midnight. Midnight's New York time. Also, I'm on uh, UTC minus four. And this right here is um, 8.30 right here. So I want you want to mark the highest high, which happens um, at 6.48 a.m., and the lowest low which happens right here at 2 a.m., all right? That's the very first rule. This is, this is how e simple it is to make money. If you can just do this and stop doing everything else, this is all you need to be profitable, all right? Mark the high and low. Wait for one side to get swept between 8.30 to 11 o'clock a.m., all right? So you're waiting for one side to get swept. This is also called a liquidity grab. So at... Uh, as you can see, we, 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 we reach the highs. We grab the highs at this candle. This candle right here uh, is higher than any of the high. So what this means is that if you looked on the daily chart and you went to 9.05 a.m., that is the very first time that price breaks. Uh, there was a top wick on the daily candle and then price is going, shooting above it right now. All right, perfect. So we, we waited for one high to get swept or the higher low to get swept. Next, we're looking for a market structure shift. If you don't know what a market structure shift is, it's also change of character. It's also market structure break. It's also um, break of structure. There's a lot of different names for it. It's the, the, the terminology isn't as important as what it represents during price action. And so if we're going to be um, shorting, because since we swept the highs, we're looking to, for a reversal. This is a liquidity reversal strategy. We're trying to short at the top of the day after price action gives us our, our our confirmations, okay? So we're looking for a market structure shift. This is also on the one minute. So a market structure shift means that we need a candle body close bef under a previous swing low. I'll say that again. Market structure shift is a candle body close under a previous swing low. Now, if we swept the lows, then we'd be looking for a candle body close above a, a previous swing high in a bullish market structure shift. We're looking for... Uh, the market structure to shift. That's literally what it means. That So you can see the price is making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. That's a, an uptrend. We're looking for price to show its hand, tip its hand, and give us a hint, uh, a, a showing, telling us that it's most probably going to be reversing for some period of time. So we had a swing low right here, right? This is the most recent swing low, the last swing low price prints. We, we took the highs. And then we, we have a swing low. And so where does, in all of this action, above above the London high, where does price close above below a swing low? We come down here and we, this is, a, this is our last swing low. We wick the swing low here and we wick the swing low there, but we need a candle body close below a swing low. We need price to close below this level. So where does this happen right here? It happens right there. So this is a market structure shift on the one minute because the last swing low, the last pivot low, whatever you want to call it, the, and a swing low is a, is a three pin pattern where it's basically the lowest point um, between the candle to the left of it and the candle to the right of it. It's the lowest point. 
So if price is going to continue bullish, it's going to make higher highs and higher lows. As soon as it makes this lower, lower low, we look, it made a lower high and then it made a lower low. This is price telling us that, hey, there is a potential that price is going to reverse. So as soon as we get this market structure shift, that is our third step confirmation that price is potentially ready to reverse. And that is the last step that we need to enter. All right. So we'll mark the high and low, wait for one side to get swept and liquidity grab. And then we had a market structure shift. So basically what, what we're doing in this setup is that we're shorting at the high of the day or as close to the high of the day after price is telling us that it's most likely going to reverse. That is, it is probable that it is going to reverse. Of course, we can't predict the future, but we can only um, uh, use price action and repeatable patterns to, to get a more probable outcome than, than not. So right here at 940, price closes below a previous swing low. That's the last thing that we need. We want to enter on the deepest fair value gap. So uh, if you don't know what a fair value gap is, it's a three candle pattern where uh, one, two, three candles, there leaves, there's a gap in between the bottom of one candle does not intersect with the top of the third candle. So all the way through here, there's some bullish fair value gap, bullish fair value gap, bullish fair value gap. But there is not a bearish fair value gap until right here. We do have a sm really, really small, tiny one right there, but that's not in the leg that broke structure to the downside. So you can see right here on this leg that created the market structure shift, is there a fair value gap? Yes. Now, if there are multiple fair value gaps, I would suggest doing the deepest one. So in this case, the highest fair value gap. But in this specific scenario, there's only one fair value gap, and it's right here because this candle body low does not intersect with this candle body high. So we would be entering short right here. Uh, and we, so yeah, we'd be entering short right here. And then the next step is stop loss covering the high. So we want stop loss covering the high of the day. This is, this is the high of the day, right? So what happened is all through London, price made a high and low that made the range. We're not, we don't care about whatever range is happening between high and low during London. As soon as we get a break of the highs and a, and a market structure shift, that's when we get interested. In. So we had a market structure right here at uh, 9.40 a.m. And then uh, we want to enter on the fair value gap that was created at 9.39. And we would enter short right on the bottom of this fair value gap right here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. On this, we enter on the, the, the bottom of this fair value gap right here. So we get tagged in at 945 and we put our stop loss covering the highs. So this is the high of the day. So if price continues to be bullish and, and breaks through the high of the day, then we lose the trade. But if not, and price does continue to reverse, then we're shorting from the best place possible. So um, market structure shift and then stop loss covering the high or low. Next, we want to can't target one to two risk reward. So this is the mechanical, this is the simple strategy of just targeting one to two risk reward. So we have the, the oh, we have the high right here and then one to two risk reward would be uh, this right here. So this is, if you're a beginner or if you're still struggling uh, to, to find a profitable system, this is it. This is all you need. I trade this every day. It happens about four times a week. Um, sometimes, uh, sometimes five or six, sometimes three, but it happens about around four times a week. So you can see we get tagged in at um, 9.45 a.m. for covering the high of the day. We got we entered on the fair value gap that broke the structure uh, uh, that created the market structure shift. And we have a one to two risk reward. So that's about that is 54 points, which is about um, a little over a thousand dollars. Uh, yeah, 1080 bucks on the NASDAQ in uh, 945 to 951. So six minutes, six minutes to make a thousand dollars. How many of you are, are that that's, that's what, if you can do this every day, it happens every day. That's around $5,000 a week. That's, that's, that's all you need. This is all you need. If you just take these A plus setups, this is all that you need. It's, it's this simple. If you can just follow these mechanical, this is a mechanical strategy. This very, I, there is no guesswork. There is no thinking. You don't have to do anything 
um, really, to be honest, this can be programmed into to a, a, a trading bot. But you know, if you know how to do that, 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 that that's on you. But this is a thousand dollars in six minutes. How many of you guys are going to work, working some job that you don't like, doing like not living the life of your dreams? Well, it's because you don't have the discipline and the patience to just follow a proven, repeatable, mechanical strategy. Now, if you have stayed to the video thus far, I gave you guys a little sneak peek uh, earlier. I didn't mention it, but there is a way to maximize profits on the Judas swing. Now, that requires you having to know about draw on liquidity. So if you know about daily bias or draw on liquidity, that is going to exponentially grow your, your profits on the Judas swing. So if you don't know a draw liquidity or daily bias, if you're interested in it, please drop a comment down below and I'll make a video dedicated to it. But for those of you that do know about it, if you know where your draw liquidity is and it is below, so it's underneath, that means you would be aligned with the higher time frame, right? So if your draw liquidity is somewhere down here, uh, below the previous day low, wh whatever it is, that means price, because, because, so let me back up. This strategy works it doesn't need you don't need a bias right it's it's a mechanical strategy that sometimes price will come down it will short it'll get your one two and then it'll keep on pushing for the rest of the day that's fine that happens and there's there have been bullish days when i've shorted and i've still made money but if the higher time frame if the hourly if the daily if the weekly is bearish and you know that your drawing liquidity is below you and you're shorting at the top of the day and you know that you're aligned with the higher time frame what can you can make a bigger profit target, right? So instead of taking my one to two, as I would, so if you're a beginner, just take your one to two, get in, get out in seven minutes. It, it's, that's really, it's best for your psychology. It's best to secure profits. But if you know that the drawn liquidity is below you, then instead of targeting just a one to two, a fixed one to two risk reward, you can instead target all of the liquidity at the low of the day, right? So this was the high of the day before we broke this high. So now all of the liquidity, everyone that went long, at the throughout the entire day thus far all of the liquidity is resting down there and we since we know that the drawn liquidity is below us if, if you know how to do that you know, i can make a separate video on that if you know how the drawn liquidity is below you you can actually target the low of the day so instead of collecting the 56 points 57 points on the nasdaq you instead collect boom 163 points which is a little over three thousand dollars three thousand something dollars and you're gonna have to wait a longer time obviously the, the the bigger your profit target the more you're gonna have to wait uh so instead of getting profits in seven minutes you're gonna have to wait a little an hour longer um but this is this is the only trade you need this week honestly a lot of people would be happy with just the kind of this is the kind of trade that you only need once a month you could take this trade and be done for the month of trading and so we know that since the drawn liquidity is below us on the higher time frame, I'm, I can make another video about it. But since we know that the drawn liquidity is below us, we can target the London low instead of a fixed one to two risk reward ratio. And that with that mechanical system, that is enough. And 90 days, if you can just do this, if you can just follow these rules, you can quit your job. You can start living the life that you want to live and start living life on your free time, on, on your time having to go to work get dressed up and do something that you don't want to do if you can just follow these rules take a screenshot of this take a screenshot of all of this post it on your wall this is all you need this is a short example but you know there's also long that currently that the nasdaq is 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 bearish so there's going to be a lot more of these plays this week in the, in, the, in the coming weeks all right if you found this video helpful drop a like drop drop a subscribe um if you want to see a draw liquidity video post a comment down below and i will make one uh, for you guys. All right. That's it for today. Peace. Happy trading.